party nice, yes? <laughs> My friend and them was right. Party breeze, party nice. I don't miss in the next one. All right, good day, good day. Um, I just want to share with you that in Grenada, around the August season, there is a saying that August is the time. August is the time. What does that mean? It means, therefore, that when August, which is a time for revelry, partying hard, it's a time for alcohol, misbehavior, all type of immoral activity. But I want you to understand that this is not what God expects. I remember when I used to go to second, when I used to attend secondary school, there was a time when I returned to school in, uh, in September after the August holiday, I would sing almost all the soca songs that I play during the season. The reason reason for that is because I took time to listen. I loved it. I inclined to it. But things are different now because when I accepted Jesus, I realized that he said that I should stay away from revelry, stay away from carnival because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and it says from verse 9 and 10, it says, knowing not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I want to inherit the kingdom of God. And the Bible continues to list them. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, idolaters, eh, adulterers, effeminate, abusers of themselves with mankind, not thieves, covetous, drunkards, and revelers, not extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. So you might say, Pastor, what can I do to overcome revelry? What can I do to overcome such a strong desire to go to carnival or, or the other soccer shows or the other immoral activities that they have around the island? Well, let me tell you, it's easy to do that. Once you follow those principles that I will share with you, first thing you have to understand, you have to try not to listen to soccer music. Stay away from that because what happened, the soccer music or the music that you listen to, they are actually creating that environment for the big event that is coming. So if you listen to the music throughout the season, when the peak reaches, it's very difficult to fight that temptation. Why? Because you are already in the mood. The next thing that I want to encourage you to do, you should choose your friends wisely. So, so no boy or girl will call you and say, hey, what are you doing? Let's go to carnival. Let's go to that, to that session. You know, no, don't allow that to happen. So choose people who will call you and say, hey, here what's going on. Let's go to camp. Let's go and do a hike. Let's, let's make a, 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 a tanya log or some bakes and saltfish and just relax and chat. You know, people that, your friends that can call you to do wholesome, activities and the last one i want to encourage you as well stay away from alcohol you see alcohol that's why most time alcohol is known as a spirit because when you consume alcohol it possesses your body and you do things that after you become sober you are ashamed of i remember i was looking at a video a man he drank alcohol and music was playing so soccer and music combined with alcohol and he ran in the road jumped off the road over a bridge onto a, a banana stool i want you to understand that in order to overcome revelry you gotta follow what the bible says and finally i live with you the bible says in james chapter 1 and verse 13 to 15 he says let no man say when he's tempted i am tempted of god god trying to tempt me don't let allow anybody to say that he says for god cannot tempt uh, tempt with evil neither tempt he any man but watch verse 14 he said but every man is tempted when he's drawn away by his own loss and this is not only talking about sexual activity it is talking about your desire inclination in some vice and if your if your vice is revelry then the music will draw you in that direction so you are, you are drawn by that and enticed. Verse 15 says, Then when lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it finishes, it brings forth death. So I encourage you, don't follow the desire. Set that right environment. Create that right atmosphere. So when the season hits its peak, you can overcome nicely with the help of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thanks again for lending a hand of support in our social media evangelism week. Indeed, the festive season can be very seductive. Parties, fets, places to go, the music, and so many sessions. But you can again make a difference by sharing this video to all your social media contacts on all your social media platforms using the hashtag PCML4J. We need you. God bless you.